Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing as uh, the Free Fighters. And we have the War of the Mask. Uh, the Free Fighters owe their existence to the cartels, as it is in their evil ways that brought us together to fight back. Our destinies then are intertwined, and as final match of fate we shall prevail, but we're doing a return to Baja. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One and all the match of the century. On the left corner is the negotiators, the logisticians, the smugglers, the Glares and the Paz Bandits. In the right corner, sailing all the way across to see a Cortez. The Free Fighters. I hope you brought us a change of clothes because this is going to get messy. Now, I've done a couple focuses off screen um, that we need to read through and do and talk about, and uh, and then we'll get there. And we're almost done with our land auction too, but we can talk about the Legion. The Free Fighter Legion. Uh, so, where are we at right now? <clears throat> Let's see. We're still kind of hanging out. Uh, I would love to go to War of the Cartel, but uh, Tlaloc is still alive, unfortunately. But. Uh, let's see. Dubious shipments. Battles must be fought with honor. But the preparation is fair game, after all. What greater justice is there than to defeat the corrupt and oppressive regimes of this land uh, with the weapons of their own design? Familial weaponry. Most wars within the Federation make use of the weapons that are hereditary. And it down from famine to famine, repair when necessary for open battle. Generational war bands. While many new weapons are produced for the Free Fighters, those that are are often made to mirror those that came before them. And the Academy. Those are worthy paths to dedicate yourself to a life of wrestling. We should also seek to foster a body of bright individuals who wish to advance the uh, science of the nation. The founding of our new academy, La Escuela de Nopelier, is just what we need to do to achieve that. And we wanted to get maybe superior slammers, maybe? Eventually, to a literature of brain rustler. Uh, a rocket sledge uh, may at first appear to be the peak of human weaponry, but recent discoveries in the field, <clears throat> a power superfist that can punch through a skull, have shaken the scientific community to its core. Uh, let's see, so can we actually get that yet? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go work on it anyways because I want to get that done fast. Because it might, it's gonna take us a while to get to where we really want to. Of course, we'll redo the great rematch to make sure we get the route we want. But uh, a repurpose trawlers for the purpose of the naval action. Pre-war fighting uh, or pre-war pre fishing trawlers make for a hull that is enough bulk to be pushed around, enough deck space to put on guns, enough engine power, of course, to outpace less consistent forms of propulsion. With some reverse engineering, it wouldn't be hard to design a hull that takes advantage of uh, these traits. So we're gonna do that one, and we're of course returning to Baja and see what that's like. Oh, what is this? San Griento Days. Of all the miserable, vile characters that terrorize Mexico, there's none as evil as El Bandito Sangrienato. The Bandito's thugs and vicious cruelty were the only thing that stopped us in complete lucha victory in the uprising and have been a thorn in our side ever since. Normally I don't do that one, but we want more money. Because we're almost done with our land auction. We're working alongside here. And we're going to get the Sledgehammer. We need some special forces. Um, hmm, grenade machine guns, heavy incinerators. I think we'll just go with the grenade, frag grenades. Those sound like fun to me. But the return to Baja. Uh, you know what's for here? Uh, do we need to have uh, this? We need mill mascaras. So let's go and do that one, anyways. The Baja proposal. Well, the by bandits, foreign occupiers, the people of Mexico have been subjugated for over 200 years. The latest tyrants, a so-called Republic from California, has recently taken control over the Baja territories, driving out the local bandits while we could always liberate this land by force, and maybe we're simply asking them if they turn over the land to us in exchange for an alliance. Perhaps we can make it a proposal. We'll fight them for it. Um... Oh. Upon being informed of the treaty made between us and the NCR, the Baja territories have been decided they'd rather choose independence than su submit to our benevolent rule. This foolishness shall be rectified. The NCR accepts. The NCR has accepted our most modest request and the peace of Mexico is liberated. Oh. Wait. What? Um, you probably want to go. We don't have a navy really to do this. Well, that's unexpected. And they have quite a few divisions here, too. Um. Hold on. So we're actually now in the NCR. Look at that. Wow. Uh, they'd rather be independent. Well, are these still a puppet of them? Uh, I mean, I guess we could we could join their wars technically. Oh, wow. Hold on, we could go to get every cap for the army. That'd be kind of nice. I won't say no for now. Um, you know what? If we're supposed to get them and join the NCR, I want them no matter what. So, I'm going to do something maybe a little, uh, funkatious here in a little bit, maybe? Because we're going to finish that up. I'm going to do some of these, um, the Senator calls. I'm not sure which way we want to go. We'll see in just a little bit. 
And then, uh, what is this one? The Great Cartel. To kill a bandit. Ooh. Killing a ghoul like a bloody bandit is no easy task. They're tougher than even the hardest of luchadores and fight to the death. Of course, all this just makes the challenge even more fun. The Bastard of Beltran Levia. The Bastard Bandit of Beltran Levia is one of the greatest budgers of modern Mexico. Known for quietly wiping out entire villages of people who question his authority and for the murder of any who would challenge his power or stand in his way. The continued existence of uh, this man is unacceptable and it falls upon the Federation to finally put the mad dog down. Even now. The tribes gather, discuss strategy, and plan his downfall. Look at that. About some time someone took care of it. Awesome. So we've got that going for us. Uh, now we're going to shift our lines down to meet them and hopefully beat them up. But uh, choose our fighter. Eh, honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. You, uh, I still want El Santo, but he never wins. So there's El Santo, and we need to get the heavy melee weaponry stuff too. Do we need El Santo here too? So, um, so not El Santo. Um, so we're doing to kill a band, which we read earlier. Uh, but, oh, the blue demons are well, at war with them. Beltran Levia are a putrid demon in Mexico, preying on the weak and the defenseless without realizing their own impending demise. Now, we take the fight to the heart of their cartel. And we are the demons, and they are, of course, our prey. So what do we have over here? We're 14 divisions, pretty good. Uh, we got that over there, we got this over here. And we're going to grab, uh, hmm. Blackbeaver. Might as well do that. We should be able to win a war. Then again, we're going to be falling behind in terms of technology. But honestly, a lot of it is just sitting here. Because we can't really do too much. Uh, okay, so what I did, I just took over Baja. I just straight up annexed him and then released him as a puppet. Because we we negotiated for them. So, they're our puppet. Because, yes. Also, Tlaloc has died. Which is a very good thing. We could settle people down, but that would remove our focus tree. Which is probably not a good thing for right now. We declare war on the NCR. Um, I think we're good. And we'll get more science points. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep building up more science points. Oh, we got our land doctrine done too. Look at that. And recon. Very nice. Uh, let's go that one. And working on that stuff over there. Very nice. Agricultural experts. Do we need more water? We need we need a lot of scrap and, and uh energy. Uh, increase our political power, of course. That's why I got so much PP. Support equipment, you know what, we can use a little bit more support equipment. I think that'd be good. That'd be nice. Um, decimators don't really need. And, sure, why not? Might be going to war soon, we might not. We might call our allies in, we might not. It just depends on how we're feeling. Because we're doing, well, we're doing alright. To kill a bandit though. We could probably go to war maybe. That'd be kind of nice. Because Mexico is on fire. That one is Mexico, not on fire. And here we go, finally. My god. I know I could, I could have sent volunteers, but I just didn't feel like it. So, uh, what can we do here? Wait. Independence of Beltran. So, if we do this. Yeah, well, we're an ally to them already, so they shouldn't come to our side. Or they shouldn't go to war with us. So, it looks like they're pretty weak. We should do okay. I'm not going to call our allies in because we don't have to. Uh, the true blue demon. Yeah. True demon. Yes. The Sinaloa Cartel is a bladder reminder of the sins of the old rule. It continues to survive in the north as a strain upon our lands, and it's time we, past time we finish our great crusade against our evil. So that would be good to do as well. Got some paved roads here, which is very nice. Uh, I'm sure we can grab some of this too, because why not? And hopefully we can do alright. So they have lost... 2300 of the vice royalty. They've lost a thousand. And we're quickly catching up in terms of war score and participation uh, uh, compared to uh, the vice royalty. Also, we do have a cup of uh, decaf coffee here because I might be recording this at night. And I might want to go to sleep, maybe. Then again, I guess I can. We can't take them out too quickly. Because, well, we need to make sure we do a finish our focuses here. Because that would be nice. Come on, why not? Uh, do we have any of those guys yet? Are we making any special forces? I guess we don't have any special forces yet. You know, that's the case. Come over here quick and we'll do that one too. And they also are making some special forces because they need to be like 20 combat width, which would be very nice. Nine is good.
logistics because we can. And there you go. North Group taking a raid. Super heavy melee weaponry. Very nice. Very, very nice. Crowd control because it can. And there you go. So with that research. We can find a spear slammers to a luchador a brain of wrestler. A rocket sledge may first be to be at the peak of human weaponry. Recent discoveries in the field of powered super fists that can punch through its skull have shaken the scientific community to its core, which I read earlier, but I wanted to read it again. Senior calls a new demon. The bastard bandit of Beltran Levio is cornered by the warriors of the demon. Attempting to flee south into the territory of the vice royalty, despite having previously rid of their holdings and homes. The bandito was brought before the blue demon himself. And proceeded to beg for his life, offering the blue demon a knowledge of his immense caches of stolen wealth and weapons in exchange for his own life. Ooh. The demon agrees, allowing the bandit to lead him to these caches before knocking him or knocking his head from his body with a well placed blow from his power fist. Oh yeah. Spread propaganda. Sure. Another one summer slammed. Nice. Oh, that gave us a crap ton right there. That's awesome. Just keep building ourselves up. Building a lot of roads, eh? Let's root, root, root for the home team. As part of the Murphy's diplomatic approach, the president sponsored the formation of a West Coast baseball league. While well, some find this insulting, others find this as a welcome change from the TV town or reruns. Already, the overseers, the steel badgers, trappers, and lucky strikes are organizing the first games and with the championship uh, scheduled in Sac City. But shall we give this official, our, give this our official sponsorship? Perhaps it's better we fight them with baseball bats and miniguns. Bonus for electronics. Oh. Unlocks yearly baseball matches that you can see in the decisions menu. I prefer Rangers and Robots. Let's see what this is like. We're part of the NCR, so. Baseball lives again. Getting ready for a new game. Oh. That's cool. We're running at a lot of army XP, which I do like. Oh. Very good. Not waiting here, but that's alright. We'll keep going. Ah, some really fresh decaf coffee. I know it's weird. It's a change for me. Usually I have normal coffee, but this time I decided to go decaf. Lots of is doing okay. So where are we at percentage-wise? 53. Not bad. Lost a little bit. We did a little bit more couch duty than than them now, which is good. We gotta be ready for everyone, anyone else, anyone else who wants to take us out too. Good. Durango. All right. So we got him. Good. We're taking the coast. Taking that. Thank you, free fighters. Or we are the free fighters. Thank you, fighters royalty. So we have a cartel here, eh? Very nice. That's right, so another thing we can do about that right there. Uh, getting ready for a new game. Settle the people down. Nah, no, we're good. And what else? Increase your bullet power? Sure. Because we're not really fighting too many people right now, anyways. A bit more manpower, but we don't need that. What is this? Oh, new mask. Same bandit. Well, we're going to do this one. Let's do this one first. Freedom for the Sinaloa. Um, ooh. Something unlocked there. Powered melee. Yes, please. Logistics. Yes, please. So we're all done with this for now, because the technology does not allow us to get too much, really. Which really sucks. Basic energy weaponry. Well, could do that. Oh, you got that one, too. Ground control. Uh, I'll go with that one, why not? More appeal to refugees, because we're kind of like that. The last rumble. In the right corner, the 200 year uncontested champions of misery, the opioid overlords themselves, the Sinaloa Cartel. And in the left corner, weighing in with a people filled with the powers of righteousness and freedom, armed to the teeth and ready to kick some crusty ghoul colo, the free fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, ghouls and normal brains, let's get ready to rumble here. Oh, uh, hello. That is his legion. Well, that don't sound too good. Oh, the fight! They're oh, oh, they completely took over. Oh crap! 
Oh, holy crud. Holy daddy. They got thick. So. Hmm. That's not all we need you here right now. We still want to do everything here. You guys might be able to hold here. Um. It's a good thing we got extra generals and whatnot. Because we're going to need one, two, at least two, if not three divisions here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't mind draining the manpower, you know, but like, we've got other things going on, especially when this borders this much, the Great Cartel. The Sinaloa Cartel is the strongest of its kind, owning a vast swath of territory from which it terrorizes northern Mexico and the southern states, indeed. It was the founders of this organization that slew Mario El Santo over 100 years ago and inadvertently founded the Lucha tribes in their viciousness. Now the time for justice has come to do, or has come due, but the Federation is finally strong enough to destroy the greatest foe. Time to bring them to justice. Even more political power, because we love PP here. Nice. Um, let's keep building ourselves up for now. This one, I don't want. To, I just want to hurt our uh, weekly stability. It's not cool, in my book, man. Go and do that one real quick. We don't need that one. We really don't need that one either. It would be nice, but we don't have to have it. Because right now, occupy territories. We're our oh, voice that pacification. That would be good. Yeah, it's going to take a little dip of our manpower, but that's all right. Let's do it. Oh, they're already at war. Interesting. Okay, join them. God, the NCR's not doing super well. And they're attacking too, like a bunch of crazy idiots. Alright. Alright, batch 10. Don't really care, I'll be honest, um, because of how everything's been going. Opens with a volley. Volley, 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 volley. Yeah, like I said before, just waiting for the 60 day focuses takes forever. Try our key returns, that's fine for now. Till the next match. Our stability maybe a little bit, but whatever. Um, so yeah, last rumble. Because I really want to do this one. I'll get one infrastructure for free, huh? Well, that's not bad, that's pretty good too. Uh, avenging the Saint. Perhaps when the son of the cartel killed El Santo, they thought they had rid of the free fighters of the greatest hero. In reality, they only made our resolve even stronger. Now that the Saint is back, it's time for some divine retribution. So let's go to war with these guys. And then we can still plan our entry into the war against the Legion because, well, they've got a lot of stuff around here too. God, come on, NCR, do better than this. I guess we grab something down here. Can't get Ortiz anyways, base. So, would it be able to hold up here at all? Maybe, maybe not. This one's worrying me a little bit here. Plus eight seven for team, unfortunately. This is worrying me too. Um, they're still trying. They're still dying. But at least we're doing something here. And they want a war. They really want us dead. What else we got right here? The worst sport? Sure, why not? Then after training, media draft. We're okay. Down here. You know, I'm gonna grab a Ruiz. Why not? Seems like a good guy. Could use him probably. Using the power would be nice, but we already got it done. Good. 
No, they want to force the attack. That's fine. I mean, man, Mexico's got a crap ton of manpower, so like it's gonna take a while to delete everything they have. So which is okay with us. We have a lot of arming speed, though. Which is very good. I love it. And they are trying so hard, so so hard. All right. In the meantime, I'm the saint. Oh, let's see. And then just nice this. Ah, a new mask, same bandit. The fight with the belt thrown in Levia was one of the greatest matches in our history, with the bloody bandit himself staring down our fiercest luchadores in battle. The Blue Devil, already recognizing um, such prowess for the virtue that it is, has decided to embrace the defeated cartel under the tutelage to teach him the true meaning of wrestling. Nice. Great national pastime, or pastime. The sound of crowds fill the air of the bone yards, a huge crowd of people trickly or trickle under the recently built New California Baseball Arena, eagerly anticipating the historic moment they're about to witness after 200 years. <clears throat> um, baseball finally returned to California, with an inaugural match of the new league taking place in the home city of the NCR president, Algon Murphy. A round of applause filled the stadium as the teams took to the field, the NCR's own roaring bears played against the teams of the NCR allies. As the teams stood under their positions, the crowd fell silent, intensely waiting for the uh, starting sound of sound. For the better call, the game begins, and the crowd roars as the first ball is hit. Go, go, Fist of Fury. Go, go, Inspector Gadget. What? No. No, oh, okay. Why'd you go over here? We might put a one there. Yeah, we're slowly losing here too, aren't we? Nice. Avenging the same. The same is avenged on the eve of the defeat of the Sinaloa Cartel, where the majority of their leadership are caught attempting to flee north with their decades of ill gotten spoils, surrounded. By the wars of the Federation, it is El Santo who makes a choice to turn the cartel over to the people of long tormented Sinaloa, allowing them to dispense justice due to their antagonizers. <clears throat> the wealth of the cartel is returned to the people, but much of it is still donated to the Federation of Thanks, beaten by the people for the people. Sun Eater calls. Recently been working, or receiving letters and cryptic messages about a tribal war who calls himself Sun Eater. Supposedly he's leading a disposed warband that were driven out of the uh, land by the Generalissimo and his goons. The planning has begun to liberate the land from the tyrant. Oh, hello. Uh, sure. Oh, we're gonna lose this here, aren't we? Well, it certainly isn't good. Alright, so we gotta go on the offensive now. Make it up alone. Because we do not have enough divisions for this. Come on. Who got more divisions? Which is disappointing. Where are you going? Oh. Sad. Yeah, our divisions aren't very good. They really are not. Hold. And you go there. Hold. There you go. Come on, Blue Demon, do better. There you go. Better recovery rate, too. Alright, well, if they really do want to attack. Oh, we have a special forces division. Look at that. Because their infantry is. They're 20, almost 20 combat with asymmetric warfare. You know, it's okay. We've lost about uh, 1,100. They've lost about 2,400. So, 2 to 1 casualty ratio could be worse. Could do better, of course, but still. And manpower wise, 51 divisions. really trying, aren't they? Sure, why not? I 
kind of glad I did put in um uh, other type of uh, things in here. Oh my god! Fighting over those waterways suck. Looking better here now. Eh, it's giving me a little bit of worry, you know. We're really not too advanced here. Ooh, evil doctor, no? How fantastic. There you go. There you go. We did that one. We built even more faster. Well, we're doing alright. But let's read about Sun Reader. Fighting up front or by proxy. While well, the guards were planning with the invasion of Enzo del Sol, we presented with a unique uh, situation. Viala is not a popular term by the stretch, any stretch of imagination. With this in mind, we could avoid a bloody head on conflict by starting an, up, uh, an, an up, armed uprising behind their lines. Of course, starting a rebellion runs the risk of dealing with the rebels once the whole thing is over, and it may be just be simpler to go with the tried and true option. So, the rebellious champion, Cult of the Sun Eater. Undermining uh, Sol, Viva la Revolucion, uh, Rising Sun, or the Warrior Champion. Hero of the people. Goes up to anticipation. So he was a military high commander, huh? It's an economic guy. Or over here. So we can't get Sun Eater, so we might as well not go with Sun Eater then. I don't mind attacking them. So if we can't get him, we should go with this rebellious champion. There's no better way to give the land back to the people than using the strength of those people. Call to the Sun Eater. Sun Eater is one of the popular figureheads over there. By establishing contact with the scattered remains of his personal cult, we can sow the seeds of armed rebellion with our friend's most fanatic followers. Undermining Soul. The final step towards bringing down the tyrant lies in humiliating him in the eyes of his people. A doctor photo of him being choke slammed by a luchador out to make him look pith fittingly pathetic. Viva la revolution. By offering to build a military industry to protect against Kaiser, we can create a fair bit of assets that are accidentally falling into the rebel hands once the civil war commences in Rising Sun. The time for revolutions now. We'll see all the Sun Eater and his finest men in Puerto Libertad to rally the oppressed peoples of the Enta into rising up against the corrupt oppressors. And then uh, getting the gang back together. What is a cartel but a misguided tribal lucha? The blue demon would make these broken, feral, drug addicted banditos and turn them into something greater than themselves, something worthy of the lucha mask. Champion of the people, following the great rematch, El Santo has once again taken his place as the head of the Federation. Oh, uh, Max Factories. Ooh. Unlocks the Demonio Azul focus options. Oh, when El Santo speaks, I'll oh, listen. Have a gracious victory. El Santos are the Blue Demon his eternal rival, and a new ally in the Saints Federation. Already the former followers of the Demon have joined the faithful and further, strengthening and uniting our society, but champion declared. Choosing his moments carefully, El Santo managed to achieve the impossible, a total victory against both the Blue Demon and Mil Mascaras. Such a success surely indicates divine favor, and the people of the Federation once again flock to him as their savior. A victory for the people. As you can see, we are beating the crap out of them now, even though that's cost us about Probably 5,000 people in total, so which kind of sucks. But uh, Nurino's dead. We're fighting for the capital. Pretty normal stuff for us, huh? in all honesty. It's been a pretty, honestly, rough war. Ooh, oh, God, that's not good. We're out of saws, huh? Yeah, we're technologically just very behind, and I guess, to put it, we're, we're struggling. We are on the, what we call, struggle bus. But we've granted out quite a bit of army XP, which is pretty nice. Any more defense for guys? Yes, please. That to do or smart, you would go right here. Hello, you know, I'll take sauce from our puppet, too. No rushing trying to beat them down, not really. We're getting there slowly, but surely getting there. Oh, and then it's a comment, eh? Nice, eight divisions up there, so that's pretty good. All 
right. Hello, special forces. You got anything here for us? Tough leader? Oh, that's not bad. Smooth talker. What's your tough leader? I don't know. I like that one. Hey, got the capital. And go in here. You guys go and just take them out. That is one, two, six divisions. Wait, six. That's oh, so seven divisions, I think, in total. Nice. And they are almost gone. And then we will do this. Ah, full line. Let's go hold. Finish them off like this. Keep working on a lot of like, civvies and whatnot. See from there. Get you guys on the line. Maybe making a couple of things here and there. You know, good stuff. Spreading propaganda, cultural assimilation. Sure, why not? Basic generators, bolt action rifles are nice. Even though we're not even using bolt action rifles. But oh well. Fire teams would be nice. Gatling guns, even though we're using fists. Oh well. You know, they're normal stuff. And let's go in. We should do okay here. As we're using literally the entire army to grind everybody out here. Nice. Ah, the forgiveness of sins. Ah, yes. We'll get that one done immediately, anyways. I won't get that one done too. I get. I read this one last time. So if you want to bet the honor of the saint, please go right ahead. And the legacy of the martyr. I mean, lose the organization, but better recovery rate. Lose army organization regain, but get better defense of core territories. Um, the will of the many. Many hands make light work, and willing shoulders are let alone. El Santo inspires every citizen of the free fighters to give their all to the cause, and all gives his all in return. Nice. That took way longer than I thought it would. That's kind of sucked. Rising sun. Time for the revolution is now. Oh, as any people nation conquer non people, uh, non -people nation. Well, sail the uh, sun eater and his finest men to port the liberty and rather the oppressed peoples of the Genta until rising up against the corrupt, corrupt up oppressors. Or we just go to war with the Legion, too. That's not good. That's really not flipping good. Um, especially since we want these guys to kill all these guys off, too, as well. Um, we might just take it on the chin and try to beat everybody up here. Ah, stand against a bull. That'd be good, too. The bull has come to our doorstep, is ready for a fight. While the nations fall and bend to the knee, our federation of freedom will do one last thing that we do best, stand and fight. Rage against the tyrants. El Santo's legend now extends far beyond the man who stood against the violence of the ring in the old world, or the man who died in a hail of gunfire in the wasteland. The name inspires hope and heroism in all who hear and know of it, bringing forth great deeds from the common people. Truly, the realm of the federation has become the home of the heroes in the wake of their ascension. And a passage, or message to the people. Freedom cannot be contained beyond any nation. It is a flame that must be brought to every man and woman who can hold the fire within them. El Santo shall spread this message far and wide, and the town shall tremble, and maybe the Great Federation. It is not through conquest, but cooperation, that the lasting peace will be brought to the wastelands. Let all those who love freedom and be partial to a good wrestling match may come and cause together in a new Great Federation. But I think I'm going to end it there, and we'll end uh, this campaign in the next episode. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a small like. Small like. This time a small like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what we can do. Maybe against the Legion, maybe against Enta, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of... Your day.